everyone, it's Frugal Horse Girl, and this week has been absolutely crazy for me. Um, I'm in the middle of my state's big standardized, te standardized test, so I'm sorry if I haven't been uploading a lot lately. I feel really bad about that, but please stick in with my channel. Um, in the upcoming months, well, probably May, um, I'll definitely be able to do more videos about my horse and... Um, maybe doing some riding videos for you guys. I've just been crazy busy and um, there's three feet of snow outside. So it's kind of hard for me when I go to the barn just to, to go there and ride. Um, I have to clean the stalls at my barn. Well, my stall. Um, so by the time I finish cleaning the stall, I just don't want to ride because I'm way too cold. But I heard in two Saturdays it's supposed to be almost 60 and then be 45s for the next couple weeks so hopefully I can get in some riding I would absolutely love that uh, I haven't ridden in like two weeks and I'm like going through like riding withdrawals like seriously I've sat and watched like three hours of people riding on YouTube just because I need to so yeah um I'm probably just gonna film a couple quick videos for you so if you see me wearing the same outfit, don't be disgusted. Um, I'm just filming today, and I'm probably going to film like two or three episodes or videos. So yeah, um, this first video I'm making is how to polish and clean your boots. So I hope you enjoy. First thing you want to do, if your boots are covered in nasty mud like mine are, um, I do take good care of my boots, but the path between the barn and the arena is a muddy mess in the winter, so that's why they look like this. Don't be like, oh, she abuses her boots, because I don't do that. I love my boots. Um, you're also going to want to take off your spurs if you have it on there. Um, you'll just need a damp towel and just wipe down your boots to get all the extra dirt off. your boot is nice and it's not covered in dirt anymore um, you will need a somewhat damp towel um, and your boot oil or if your boot oil is like a spray you know, I guess you won't need that but I use the Vibings saddle soap um, absolutely love this stuff I also really like mink oil this just polishes it and gives it the extra life it needs so you're just going to want to take some, take your wet towel and just rub it along there until mm, you get some on here that looks a little yellow, but you don't want soapy bubbles. So if your towel is too wet, you'll know. Then you just want to go in some large, I like large circular motions, just all the way around your boot so you get nice and clean. Um, you probably need to take more of your saddle soap or your boot oil. Also, I would recommend that when you first get your boots, um, after you break them in or before you break them in, spray them in cap dry. Um, it just makes your boots waterproof. I waterproof all of my boots before I break them in. Um, I just like to have the boots for a long time. So, I've had these boots. Oh, I'm sorry, I dropped you. Oops. Okay. Um, I've had these boots for um, hmm, five years. I've had these boots for five years. And the only thing I've had to do with them, I dropped my camera. Um, so, yeah, I just, so, yeah, I waterproof all of my boots. Um, yeah, the only thing I've had to do with these boots is get the zipper replaced. 
but that was much, um, I ended up paying $20 instead of paying 200 and something dollars for brand new boots. So it saves a lot of money if you waterproof your boots and if you can find someone who will just repair the zipper if the zipper is broken because your boots already broken in and it's um, and they feel how you like it but if your boots like falling apart or like your heels falling off because my sister has oh, my forehead looks huge um, had it happened to her and we had to electrical tape the heel of her boot on during a show alright so once your boot looks shiny like so. Um, you're just going to want to flip it over and do the other side. Um, also, if you guys have any video requests or anything you want me to do, let me know. Um, it's winter. I really can't get outside, so I would love to do videos for you guys. Uh, it would make my hey, it would make my day just to see one of you guys smile. Yes. Sorry if you hear any noise in the background. My mom just got home and the dogs are squealing. So yeah, so you just want to get this side nice and clean. This should take a while. It could. Alright, so once your boot is polished, mine's not that great polished, um, but it will do for this video. Um, the next thing you want to do is put your boot in between your feet. This is how I do it. It's easiest for me. And take your towel and just kind of go like this, just so you can get your polish off of there. This could take a few times going through. Just want to rub it up and down. Alright. That's just what I do. You're welcome to just hold it and rub it too, but I'm not a normal person, so this is easiest for me. Um, and then you want to go back through again with your oil just so you can get that nice shine on it. And this time you're going to leave your soap on, so make sure it's in there really nice. I'm just going to do this one side with you guys. Um, it's the most important side because it's decided to the judge, so you want these to be basically perfect on this side. you have these nice beautifully shined new looking boots um, here is the clean one compared to the dirty one you can see just a nasty film on this one and these ones look shiny and black um, my black boot polish actually broke and I haven't gotten any new ones new stuff yet but before I would go into the show ring uh, like the night before I will definitely polish these with black polish and I'd probably put some show sheen on the outside just to make sure they stay nice black and shiny. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you. Um, hit subscribe, tell your friends, and have a great day. Also share this video on your Google page or on your Facebook page or anything. Um, I'd really like to get the subscribers up just because I like having people smile. So, if this video made you smile, share it with someone, because I want them to smile too. Have a great day.